Hey everybody, Chris Seinog from Center Mass Group and the author of How to Shoot Like a Navy Seal. And today I'm gonna talk to you about how to adjust your Triple Z Custom Works Kydex holster. Now, if you have a different type of Kydex holster, I have no idea how to adjust those. I recommend you throw them away and get yourself a Triple Z Custom Works holster. Uh, anyways, those are the ones I use. Marty hooks me up and sends me the greatest stuff. And I'm going to teach you now how to adjust the holster. And this also works for any other type of Kydex that you have. So first thing before we get started, let's talk quickly about firearm safety. There's four things that you need to remember. Okay, so number one is treat all firearms as if they're loaded. Number two, do not point your weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. Now, if you intend to shoot some, something, by all means, go ahead and point at it. Uh, you want to keep your finger off the trigger until you're pointed at a target. No reason to have your finger on the trigger until you, until, you know that you're ready to shoot. So, uh, And then know your target and what's beyond it. You don't want to miss your target. Uh, of course, you won't miss if you're training with center mass group, but if you're training with somebody else, you may miss your target. So you want to know what's beyond that in case you miss it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. There's a couple of things you're going to need. Make sure you wear gloves. You will need either a heat gun, which I have right here. Uh, you can use a hair dryer. You can use an exhaust pipe from your, your big pickup truck, you know, with the big, big wheels like this big. Uh, I drive a minivan, so I don't know if it'll work, you know, on my exhaust pipe. Uh, but if you're in a pinch, uh, you just need to heat it up. Now, when you heat this up, what you, a couple of things you need to remember. You want to make sure that you keep it about one to two inches away. You want to make sure you're constantly moving it. So don't stop on one spot because you can kind of melt the kydex if you do that. And you want to heat it for about five to eight seconds. And again, that kind of depends on what your heat source is that you're using. Now, I'm just going to go through this real quick, okay? So to... Tighten up. I always remember tighten trigger guard. Okay, so if I want to tighten this up, I'm going to heat around the trigger guard. And once I heat that up, I'm going to go ahead and just press that in with my thumb to help that retain in there better. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. So I put the heat gun on low, one to two inches. And this is one of those things, less is more, so they say. So start off with just a little bit and you'll get a feel for it, you know, after you do it a couple times and you probably should take a couple times to do it. So once you do that, go ahead and see how it is. And once you get it right here, make sure you put it on your belt to check it there. Don't, don't you know, go with it, uh, just holding it in your hand because it's a different feel. Okay, so, so that's pretty easy. Uh, the other thing is now if you want to loosen it, if I want to loosen it up, I'm going to heat it up right here along the slide. Okay, so same thing again. And I've found too, if I'm going to loosen it, I work the back piece here also. Okay. Now one thing I do if I'm loosening it, try to twist it a little bit as it comes out and you'll feel it loosen up. Okay. Again, if it gets too loose, then just go ahead, heat it right here and tighten it up. So that is super easy. That's really all there is to adjusting your Kydex. Uh, so if you get it and it's too tight, you can loosen it up super easy. If you have it for a while, sometimes if you leave it in your car, uh, it can you know, self adjust by itself. So you may need to fix it. If you're not comfortable fixing it or you want it done perfectly, get a hold of Marty at Triple Z Custom Works and send him the holster. He will fix it for free. Of course, it has to be one of his. I'm guessing if you send him somebody else's holster, uh, he'll throw it away. And, you know, you can get a good one that he'll, uh, he'll send you. Okay. So, anyways, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching.